The coronavirus is news of the day everywhere. The World Health Organization reports 361 people have now died and more than 17,000 are infected with the coronavirus. It's been just over a month since the disease was first detected in China's Wuhan city. A global health emergency has since been declared and countries are racing to stop it spreading. Just a short while ago, British Airways said it was suspending all flights to and from mainland China. But the ability of poorer countries to handle any outbreak is causing concern. The coronavirus is 100 times more lethal than Ebola virus and it is spreading like wildfire. Over 60 million people have been quarantined in China alone. That is almost the entire population of northern Nigeria. It is estimated that it has hit 28 countries across the world right now. No virus has hit that many countries in such a short time. And Nigeria, like most African countries, is not prepared for it. Daily, the number of diagnosed cases in China increases by 30%, which accounts for just newly admitted cases. The fact remains that the magnitude may be higher than that. From what we know so far, the coronavirus could have a long incubation period as long as 14 days and individuals could be contagious while still asymptomatic. That is, individuals are already able to transmit the virus when they haven't started showing known symptoms of the virus infection, which was not the case with SARS in 2003. In some cases, it appears the virus may be aerosolized, that means it doesn't require physical contact for transmission, but just the distance of sitting in the same room. So far, the origin of the virus is not clear and China has been covering up facts about it as was the case with SARS in 2003, which they hid for about 6 months. The first case manifested no later than December 1st of 2019, even though China didn't reveal it until about a month later on December 31st, 2019. China even reportedly hid details of the virus from its citizens and continued to say it had been contained inside Wuhan. Whereas the virus is reported to now be in every province in China, for two months China claimed that it originated in a seafood market in Wuhan. They claim people may have contracted it from bat soup, but that is not the case. From a study published last week by Lancet, of the original 40 cases, 14 of them had no contact with the seafood market, including patient zero, the first person to contract the virus. An epidemiologist has said that the virus went into the seafood market before it came out of the seafood market. So it is still unclear where it originated from. It could be from a farm, another seafood market, or even a food processing company. But what is clear? is that Wuhan has China's only biosafety level 4 super laboratory that works with the world's most deadly pathogens, which includes the coronavirus. Is that just a coincidence? As we speak, Russia has closed its 2,600 miles border to China. Many airline operators have also shut down air travels from and to China. Countries like Israel, Australia, France and the United States have shut down their borders to China. Hong Kong, which is a part of China, has also shut down all travels from mainland China. What has the Nigerian government done? Hear this, the government has asked people who have traveled from China to self-quarantine. This means to stay in your house for a period of 14 days. This is after you have had multiple encounters with several people at the airport and on your way home. God help us if this is their major first line of action. It is shameful that the Nigerian government has not started demanding that all airlines provide detailed passenger manifests that shows first point of embarkation of all passengers arriving in Nigeria. This means that passengers from impact areas could be entering Nigeria even as we speak. This is ridiculous. One thing is clear, the Nigerian government and all other African governments have to be extremely proactive considering the fragile state of the healthcare infrastructure in Africa. Could this be the plague that wipes out Africa? I sincerely hope and pray not. But we all need to wake up and take this seriously. It is better to err on the side of caution than be caught napping.